right everybody this is uh, just a video of me doing the answer key and I just thought I would make a video of it so that you can hear my thought process as I am doing these problems instead of just looking at the answer key all right find the Messine labeled size sides leave your answers as radicals in simplest form so I have a 30 60 90 I know that the other angle over here is 30 degrees Remember, opposite the 30 is going to be your shortest leg, and it's from knowing the shortest leg that you can get the other two sides. That leg gets multiplied by root 3 to get v, so v is equal to 8 root 3. And the shorter leg gets doubled to get the hypotenuse, so u is 16. Number 2. Here's my 30 degree angle. Opposite the 30 is the shorter leg. We don't have that. We have the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is double of the shorter leg. So if I divide 8 root 5 by 2, I will get 4 root 5, and that is equal to y. x, we're going to take what we got for the shorter leg and multiply it by root 3. So x will be 4 root 5 times root 3. That'll be 4 root 15. Number 3, uh, 45, 45, 90. The hypotenuse comes from taking one of the legs and multiplying it by root 2. So working backwards, I'm going to divide by root 2. I have to rationalize the denominator, so I'm going to multiply by root 2 over root 2. Get 7 root 2 over 2, nothing else simplifies, and that is both n and m. Alright, number 4. Hmm. So, it looks like this smaller triangle, I have the longer leg. Remember to go from either the hypotenuse of the longer leg to the shorter leg and then the rest of the problem. So to go from the longer leg to the shorter leg, I'm going to divide by root 3. So 6 root over root 3, rationalize, I get 6 root 3 over 3, and that simplifies to root 3. So that's the shorter leg. That means the hypotenuse of that triangle would be twice as much, 4 root 3, which is also the other side of this 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 90, excuse me. And then that gets multiplied by root 2 to get the hypotenuse. So 4 root 3 times root 2 would be 4 root 6. So x is 4 root 6. All right, this problem I threw into this review just for fun. An equilateral triangle has a side length of 8. Find the area of the triangle. So let's draw a picture of an equilateral triangle. Equilateral means all the sides are the same. Now, what we need to know is that if it's equilateral, it's also equiangular, and all the angles are 60 degrees. So that's a hint about what's going to be going on. Also, if I'm asked to find the area, I need to know the height because area of a triangle is one half base times height. So let me draw in a perpendicular line to the base there. That will be our height. So basically I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. There's my 30 degree angle. I split the 60 in two. And this side right here is four. So the height of that triangle, this is the shorter leg, the height of the triangle is going to be 4 root 3. Go back to my area formula, 1 half, the full base of the triangle is still 8, and the height is 4 root 3. So that is going to be 16 root 3. That was a little confusing right there. I divide that 2 into 8, got 4, and then I multiplied the 4 times the 4 root 3. Um, there are no units here, so but we are doing area, so you should add unit squared there at the end. 